Hey out there, Slot Car Land. How's everybody doing this weekend? Hope everybody's doing well. Um, today, we're going to be back on the TFX hop up. And now that we got our motors built, we're going to be going back through again and redoing the magnets with the car and seeing what each of these new motors does with our magnets. Now, we're not going to have to do the downforce meter because um, that's not going to change with a different armature. The downforce meter should still read exactly the same as it did the last time. Just to refresh your guys' memory, um, if not, go back and re-watch the video where we did the magnets the first time. And then come back to this video and then you can watch this one and see what happens now. But if you don't want to do that, I'll give you a little refresher course. On the stock magnets on the dyno, the car did 1.95. 1, 1 and the downforce reading was 3.7. With the Dragons, uh, the, the dyno was a 2.05. And downforce was 7. About 7.0. With the Black Widows, the the uh, downforce or the the dyno was a 1.94, and the downforce was a 15.2. And then with the level six magnets, the the uh, dyno reading was a 195, and the downforce was a 9.8. So the biggest downforce we had was with the Black Widows. Uh, followed by the level sixes and then the red dragons. So we're going to have to see what we do here. Once again, we have a Typhoon arm on one of these gear plates. And the other one is a 10 ohm arm from Dash Motorsports. So uh, right now we've got the Typhoon in the car. So we'll start with the Typhoon. We'll swap the magnets out. We'll go to the dyno. And we'll see what it does with the Typhoon with all three magnets. And then we've got this special one that I got from uh, Chain Drive, one of our friends. And we'll do that with both of them after we go through these three magnets just to see if it makes any improvement. There's not much going on down here other than swapping out magnets here. But we'll still get that down here anyways. So let's take that off. Get the stock magnets out. Get the red dragons in. red in front so to make this easier we'll do each motor with each set of magnets while we have them in the car that way we don't have to go back through and redo this all over again so we'll make sure we got it going the right direction which it looks like we do Okay, we'll put the clip on, a little oil here, Try the dash ten ohm arm. Let's see what this does. <laughs>
I see a 2.9. There are a 2.19. Excuse me. Ooh, 2.21, 2.24, 2.23, 2.25, 2.26, 2.27, 2.28, 2.29, 2.30, 2.31, 2.32, 2.33, 2.34, 2.35, 2.36, 2.37, 2.38, 2.39, 2.40,
and running them on the track to see what we get. Oh, that's the, that's the, that's the stock range. All right, so now let's do the level sixes. I think white goes in front. And we'll put the typhoon in first. That's the wrong direction. These are the level sixes with the typhoon arm. So far, the biggest jump we've got is with the black widows. With the with the stock arm, we did a one a one ninety four. With the typhoon, we did a two two a two point two seven and a two point three five. So that is the biggest jump. The level six on the stock motor, we did a one nine five. Well, now we're up to two. I'm going to call that at a two fourteen on the Typhoon. So let's, so let's take that out. Let's put in the 10 ohm dash arm. Right off the bat, we're into the 240 range. Call that 248. All right, so I'm going to say 240 with the uh, 10 ohm dash arm with those mystery magnets that we got from Chain Drive. So that's some of the stuff you can do. We might even experiment a little more with this. We might even buy a couple of other armatures and stuff down the road. Um, but we'll have to see how this stacks up against the competition this year. In the next video for this, we're gonna we're gonna take all of these magnets and these two um, two armatures. We're gonna get a body all set up and ready to go. I'll do that off camera, and we'll get a body set up. The body I want to run on this car for the racing season, and we'll go to the track and we'll turn some lap times with this car in the next video. Um, we don't race. Uh, our next race is not scheduled until the 29th. Um, I did, like I said, that, there, that we were done with bi-weekly feature cars. I kind of lied a little bit. Uh, there will be a bi-weekly feature car next week. Um, and then the week after that, we will be, um, I might even take that next week off. Um, 
I'm try trying to get it set up to where we'll have regular videos up on race weekend, the weekends that we're racing. And then the next weekend will be the race, the, the featured race, and the highlight video for that race weekend. That way, um, I'm shooting the regular videos the week after each race weekend. So I'm not in such a hurry to get everything done and wrapped up. So to get on that schedule, I'm going to have to miss one day uh, to do that. That was so we can so we can debut this video on the 29th when we uh, when we're racing. So that we'll definitely do that video. It'll probably be that video will probably be up the weekend of the 29th. And then that'll be the weekend we're racing. The next weekend will be uh, the videos from that race weekend, and then the next weekend on the off weekend will be the by will be the uh, will be the race videos, and then on race weekends will be the regular videos. So we'll get in the routine here, get everything set up and going, and all that kind of stuff. Don't forget to check out all the other videos on the channel. Don't forget to check out all the cool shorts on the video on the channel as well. The Monday walk around. Uh, the part, uh, the tech, tech tip Tuesdays, the parts bin on Wednesday, um, the uh, crash of the week on Thursday, and the Saturday speed shot. Go check them all out. Uh, there's playlists for all of them as well, so go check them out. Don't forget to visit SlotCarCrazy.com. A lot of great websites, a lot of great links, a lot of great YouTube channels, a lot of great Facebook groups. Go check it out. Uh, don't forget to also visit the merch shop. Christmas is coming, and if you have a hard-to-shop-for slot car guy, but he's a slot car guy, get him some slot car crazy merch. Um, it helps the channel out, and you guys can get can get some really cool Christmas gifts for everybody. So go check it out. You can get there from the YouTube channel. You can also get there from slotcarcrazy.com. And uh, be on the lookout for some videos promoting the merch shop here really soon, too. And all that good kind of stuff. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's going to be really cool to get this car on the track. Uh, we got a really cool body we're going to be putting on this car. So, in that, in that next video for this series, we'll be doing that and seeing what kind of lap times we can turn with all of these armatures and see how hot, what one would fit my track particularly, what setup, and what setup might work at stands better on the faster, smoother Bowman track. So, be on the lookout for that. Remember, keep that pin in the slot. Keep the wheels on the downside. Keep racing slot cars, and we will catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Catch you guys later. Bye.